now which method is going to get associate now run method okay which is having implementation as what which is having implementation as what child thread okay these all things get happen at runtime only okay now try to observe the things carefully of course all the instance methods has been associated with this underlying runtime object okay what are these methods this underlying object corresponding class instance members okay try to understand my phrases it's very important okay now it will go for the thread class in thread class we are having start method right tell me one thing that thread class start method and this uh, a class that is corresponding class of underlying object start method are same of course they are not say method signatures are not say method signature means what method name as well as the parameter type both are different so it is going to inherit that method i said i said to you earlier if you are having same method signature means it is not going to inherit from the parent if it is not it is going to inherit from the parent okay so it will get the start method that method is going to get associate with this particular instance which is underlying object of type a okay now after that it will go for the run method tell me one thing thread class run method and our class run method is, uh, is having same method signature right method name as well as argument type so what is going to get happen it is not going to get uh, i mean inherit that method it is not going to replace that method implementation with this one it will have this method only here as an associated service okay now let us go for other okay we are list bother about other methods other methods now here start method and this uh, start of int are acting as what overloaded okay overloaded guys overloaded okay now see here see okay because of this single statement this thing has been happened okay we are list bother about that one now everything has been completed why these many things because of this new operator and because of this constructor these things are happening okay now a dot start of nine tell me one thing a type is what small a type it is capital a in capital a is there any start method which is having a type as int of course all the literals are by default what int type it will go for this class and it will say start of int is there available that method is available it will happily generate the byte code after byte code generation now jvm will come it will execute this one and it will do this thing okay i'm sorry i should tell that compile things okay try to understand that one that's why i have taken here a type if i have taken thread okay let me tell one thing if i do replace this uh, a with uh, thread means uh, in uh, okay instead of is a capital th already will be in thread class do we have any start method which is having argument as int type no we are going to get what cannot find symbol symbol is method start of int in location of our class okay that's very important okay now try to understand the concept try to do analysis okay now so that's why i didn't take what thread now we are having that method so it will load that particular method in the runtime stack okay the same thing try to analyze the subject okay now let me put that one it is going to first load what main method right main method implementations okay now after that it is going to call what start method which is having argument as what int now what is going to get happen in this we are calling start now which start method is going to get call underlying runtime object only is going to get call that's very very important if you know about this underlying runtime object half of the java will be very comfort to you okay now start so which underlying object start method is going to get what is the underlying uh, runtime object currently to us uh, yeah right so with this instance is there any method associated with name start which is having no arguments of course we are having that method which is acting as the overloader right this one this one right so from which we inherit this method from which class we inherit this method from thread class which is having the implementation to create a new thread register that with the thread scheduler and perform some external activities and call the run method on underlying object once again underlying runtime object that's very very important now it is going to execute these things now of course two things has been happened here okay and this method also will be getting a load here guys okay that method okay start start which is having no arguments also will get load so here we are calling what internally this method is calling underlying runtime object i mean underlying runtime uh, run method underlying runtime object run method what is the underlying runtime object uh, run method which is having no arguments implementation is 
this one now shell thread is going to get called same thing but the process you have to follow the concept no need to make up anything okay now it is going to create the new thread so for that new thread one time i mean one more runtime stack will get create in that uh, run method is going to get load what is here what will be here in run method we are having the implementation as what child thread okay okay it is what sop related thing okay now it is going to do what the same thing same scenario it is going to get chance at before at middle at after if it is like before means uh, what will be the output first this thing child thread okay child thread okay if it is uh, child thread and after that a start int okay a start int and after that we are going to get main thread okay we are going to get the output as what main thread if it is like middle means if it is like middle means what will be the output that is a start int right and in middle will be getting what child thread right after that will be getting main thread right and if we get if it get chance after means after completion of main thread execution means we are going to see what a start int a start int other one is what a start int and the control will come here it will print main thread later child thread okay main thread later we will be seeing what child thread right and one more important guys one more important point if i do raise any exception here okay of course this particular runtime stack is going to get perish is going to get destroy and still we are going to see the output of this one okay because runtime stack was there thread is going to execute thread is going to display the output jvm is having no i mean like objections it is going to print it will allow that thread to print the output we have seen that one in introduction that's very very important if you want to understand the thread concept means you have to understand these things okay now let us see and let, after that this is first scenario in this case another one is what let me take one uh, exception object uh, i mean exception raising code here okay what is that okay okay like okay let me take here only okay like what is that 10 by 0 i explained this one earlier itself but let me make that notice to you okay it's very important okay now same piece of code let us go and execute guys okay yes guys same piece of code what is that we have to overload we have to overload the start method earlier we have called super dot start so instead of super dot start i'm going to call just start and here it will be as overloaded start method okay now in uh, main class i mean in main method in main method what i'm going to do here i'm going to put this as what a small a is equals to or t is equals to new a it is what an identifier name okay let me put a itself otherwise you'll get confused now now try to observe the screen carefully what is that here we are having the main main thread right let me put that one here okay now before that let me comment all these things okay now try to observe the screen carefully guys okay this this, this is the piece of code we have to pass an argument as what a nine okay and after that what I, I recommended to do here okay we have taken what start method which is having int as an argument and within that i'm calling what directly start i'm not calling what i'm not calling as what and let me okay let it be even this run method let it be and uh, as part of this program i should not do that one okay of course you can take it will get associated with the underlying runtime object no issues if you are uh, in position to understand no issues okay now this thing was there okay public void start int okay let it be now let us go and execute this piece of code later i'm going to put one statement here what is that exception rising thing if it is like exception rising thing means uh, it will uh, terminate only the i mean main thread runtime stack okay it will give the output which is related to the child thread that is what our next scenario we will see this one also okay no need to worry okay okay now let me go and execute this piece of code before that let me compile this one okay now you can just check it here three types of inputs will be there possibilities one is what child thread has been created at last now of course of course now you can just check it here child thread has been created in the middle okay earlier it was at last okay 
try to understand try to observe the screen carefully now let me run it once again okay now now let me go and check for that possible output okay we will get guys we will get it okay i mean now we are not getting that one we will get it okay you try to execute that piece of code uh, n number of times okay okay no it is giving only middle and the at last if we do execute these things we should get that one okay child it is getting only this one okay no issues you try to execute this one okay you will get it guys surely we will get it okay no issues we tried it we we were using that one for lot lots of time okay okay let it be that this what what i mean this is what our thought method uh, uh, overloading and uh, overriding and uh, run method overriding and overriding i mean overriding okay that is with respect to the run method we have seen overriding as well as the overloading with respect to the start method we have seen overloading as well as the overriding now let us see one more thing see i have started the thread here right see here whenever you are creating an instance of thread here means uh, what is going to get happen internally means uh, i'll tell see for each and every one thread uh, what will be there do you know there will be some signs i mean how the default name we are getting i mean for our threads if we didn't give any names we are going to get that names from home by default they are going to get assigned by the jvm right in turn so it will be taking the help of some others right okay let it be now if i do the same thread once again what we are going to get do you know okay you are starting once again the same thread so it is going to give one runtime exception which is called as do you know illegal thread state exception that the threat has been started already you cannot start that one okay it's very very important okay we are going to get that type of exception okay i'm sorry i didn't execute this one right that is sop of 10 by 0 now let us see see if this is the case means uh, we are going to get the output as what do you know what do you know it is executing the uh, run method of our class definitely there will be an exception in thread main uh, okay like what arithmetic uh, exception division by zero okay and after that we'll be getting at first or at last what is that child thread okay child thread so i can give guarantee that child thread is there it is for child thread also one separate runtime stack is going to get created that's very very important try to focus okay now let me put that piece of code here let me uncomment it now let me compile it and run it you can just check it here you can just check it here guys you can just try to try to check that one here okay what is that child thread okay and later the exception message has been printed now once again okay now once again okay now you can just check it here after exception object uh, information is uh, printing by the default exceptional handler uh, we have created our child thread but output is here okay our child thread what is that run method implementation is what child thread okay that's why we are seeing that one it's very important don't get forget about it internally these things get happen okay now now we are going to see what illegal thread state exception if i do start the same thread once again okay let it be like what a dot start of course we are calling of course we are calling what within the within the start method is i mean st i mean within the start method which is having argument type as what int once again we are calling start let us check it it should your illegal thread state exception okay okay you can just check it here okay we are having that exception object here right okay you can just check it here okay illegal thread state exception okay we are starting once again but why we are seeing these two things a thread has been started already okay and what is this start method implementation right start method implementation that is what our our normal start method implementation okay sorry our this thing overloaded start method implementation okay you can just check it here after threading i mean after starting the thread if you start that one once again you are going to get what illegal thread state exception now let us see the life cycle of this particular thread okay life cycle of this particular thread it's very important we are having some states of these threads guys 
you have to be very specific about those things okay now let us go and see those things okay what and all the states for this particular thread okay now i have taken one class a right so try to put that in your brain a class okay 